Hey guys, it's Don Keller. Today we're gonna go over five tips to improve your guitar tone. Number one is gonna be the most important, which is technique. Let's start by playing really, really soft. So almost think like water, just gentle wind. When you're playing a note, play really quietly. Like, you know, you're playing to a baby, just real quietly. And then also be able to mix in and get something louder as well, so. And be able to just go quieter and, and louder um, and just be able to do it in time as well. So just have a metronome and start playing those as well. Just go up and down a scale or play arpeggios, but be able to be in complete control of your tone as well as your time. All right, tip number two. This is gonna be not about technique, but about choosing the right gauge of strings. So right now I have acoustic guitar. I can all show kind of what I'm doing with my elect electric guitar, but you can get heavier gauge strings and you can get lighter gauge strings. Each gauge strings has a different dynamic to it, but Part of it is figuring out what kind of sound you're looking for and then finding the right gauge. Um, sometimes you, don't, you want to have something really light so it's easier on your fingers so when you're practicing and you're playing it's not going to be as harsh. So the three most common electric guitar gauges are going to be 9s, 10s, and 11s. Um, you can also do 8s as well. So see what's best for you. If you want to have it um, kind of brighter and tighter. You can do the lighter gauge strings. I personally use nine gauge strings on my elect electric guitar. If you do 11, it's going to be a kind of a darker sound. So the third tip is going to be getting the right pick thickness for your strings. My personal experience has been the higher gauge strings, um, the thicker picks work better. So if you have thicker gauge strings, they're stronger, it's good to have a, a pick that you can control the string better and really dig in when you need to. If it's really light, it, it's harder to kind of push the string and be able to uh, play the song. Uh, if you have lighter gauge strings, you could do thicker, or sorry, thinner uh, picks and that way you'll have more control without digging into it. So think about, let's say you're playing nine gauge strings and you can't find a pick and you get a quarter or a penny and you start playing with that, it's really brash because it's really, really thick. Now this is an extreme, but just trying to convey an idea. At the end of the day, it's what your preference is, but uh, I will keep that in mind. All right, tip number four is about guitar pickups. So the overview is you know, humbucker versus single coil. Um, I got both. I have, this is a humbucker right here. So this is gonna give you kind of a thicker, creamier sound. And then a single coil here, which is gonna give you kind of a thinner, brighter, crisper sound. Um, for my guitar, I have a switch that allows me to get a single coil out of this humbucker. So there's like two in here, and I can just make a split it so that I could only do one. Think about what sound you want, who are the guitarists that you want to sound like. Um, more importantly, you know, what is your sound? Uh, what do you want to sound like? And kind of go off of that. And tip number five is about guitar pedals. And making sure that your guitar pedals aren't going to be hurting your tone, hurting your signal. Um, I've had guitar pedals in the past where I plug it in and when I don't have the guitar pedal on, it's reducing the, the top end, it's less trebly, it just sucks away the tone. So it's like if you're spending money on a pedal and you know you're only going to be using it half the time or you know 20% of the time, uh, it's, if it's sucking away your tone, um, you know it's like almost like a waste of money in, in many respects. So what I use is a TC Electronics flashback. So this is the delay pedal that I use. Um, I've tried many and this ends up being, for me, the, the best one. So the key thing here is that it's true bypass. And there's also something called a buffered pedal where it can 
boost the signal and add on more t uh, treble to help restore the original signal. But if you have like a simple kind of shorter um, guitar cables, um, True Bypass is great. So the signal just goes through the cable, goes through uh, effects pedal without losing the signal because of the pedal. If there's any loss in signal, it's because of the cable itself. So if you have like 50 feet of uh, guitar cable, um, even if you have true bypass, there's still going to be a degradation of sound in which you, would use, you, you could use uh, an EQ pedal or a, buff, um, uh, a buffered pedal, which will allow you to restore the signal. So that's something to good to know um, because you know if you're working on your technique and you spent, you know, put your blood, sweat, and tears into getting better sound, and you have the right strings, you're high, you have the right guitar pick, and you spent good money on a guitar pedal, and that's sucking away your tone. Well, that's something to keep in mind, uh, so that you're getting the best out of uh, what you paid for and what you put in, you know, what put your time into. So let me know what you thought of the video. Go ahead and throw in the comments before what you thought. Um, things that you agree with, things that maybe you think differently. So let me know in the comments below what you do to improve your sound, what you would recommend. So uh, thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video.